Hello everybody, it's the Geek Guy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at another WWE Elite Collection figure. This time we're going to be looking at the Nature Boy Ric Flair from the uh, GameStop exclusive WWE Retro Fest line. So let's take a quick look at the packaging. I have removed this figure before, as you can see the robe is a little bit messed up in there. Um, so yeah, this figure's been in, out and displayed before. So let's just take a look at the packaging, the exclusive packaging. As you notice, it's a lot different from the... Uh, Normal Elite Series, this is an Elite figure. Um, most of the Elite Series are in the, in the you know, the rectangle boxes. Uh, I believe the, the like, the, um, the WrestleMania Undertaker figure that was in the same box. It was just, like, black and gold. The SummerSlam ones were in the, um, the gold and blue and green and stuff. No, this has its very own box. It's the Retro Fest line. As you can see, it looks like an arcade cabinet. It's kind of built like one. You got the buttons right there, like the arcade, like flair. So... It's kind of like a harkens back to the old days of the quarter arcades. At the back, you got like the uh, the one player select your character screen it has all the stats that would take the place of the bio card. So as you can see, Ric Flair, if you'd like to pause and read any of that, and we just got that old school block WWF logo, although it's now WWE. Retro fast in the back. On the side, you got this really nice picture of Ric Flair. Uh, give him the old pointer. Got the Elite Collection. Front, Ric Flair's got the quarter stuff. This is all printed on the box. But, um, it does look very much like an arcade machine, and it is pretty much in scale, although as you can see, it's a lot wider than an arcade machine. On the side, you got that same picture, and on the top, it just has a nice window box to peer inside the figure, although you're not going to be able to see it very well on camera. So, let's take this figure out of the packaging. Uh, we're going to jump cut, and you will see the figure. Alright, and now uh, we are back. Figure out of box. Um, the boxes, due to the odd shape of it, it is very difficult to get these figures out. And it took me quite some time to get it out, put it back in, get it out. And I will probably have to end up putting it back in for the matter of transport. But anyway, let's take the robe off of this figure first so we can just get a look at him. So it's, uh, I believe this is Royal Rumble Ric Flair, if I'm not mistaken. 1993-ish, um, I could be wrong about that. I believe it is the ninth Royal? You know, I might, I'm, I think I'm getting really confused. But I know this, I believe this is the Royal Rumble where he won the WWF Big Eagle title, the Winged Eagle title. So this kind of reflects the attire now. Uh, it's a very simple attire, just red trunks, Ric Flair uh, painted on there. It has red knee pads, these are a separate color. And if you'll notice, there's a color distinction. There's like a lighter on the back, so that's kind of cool that they added that. RF on the side of the boots, just the white laces, and then another RF. And if we get a look at that face, as you can see, I believe they're using that scanning technology. It looks uh, quite better in person. I don't know. I'm not... Um, the scan looks good. I think it definitely looks like Ric Flair. Although, it's a little bit... He looks a little bit confused. Or guilty, maybe. But maybe that's what they're trying to go for. I don't know. It doesn't look like uh, as confident and maybe smirky as perhaps it should. But, you know. Uh, it does look like Ric Flair. So anyway, going over the uh, articulation, that's pretty much it for detail. So, and uh, there's nothing on the back of the trunks. Going over articulation, head, you got a 360 degree ball joint right there. You can look down that far, up that far. It's not really like any movement up or down, mostly due to the hair. You can move to the side, obviously. And you got the chest articulation, or at the torso. Look down that far, and up that far. And he's got, at the uh, shoulder, he's got the 360 degree ball joint so he can go all the way around. And he can also hinge up and down. Got a 360 degree swivel at the bicep. Got a hinge at the elbow. And then you have a 360 degree rotation at the wrist as well as a wrist hinge. Moving down, you got a 360 degree swivel at the waist. You have legs that can go out that far. So quite a bit of movement. Got 360 degree rotation at the thigh, right there. Then you got the double joint knees, so it's gonna be a little bit hindered by those uh, knee pads, but not too much. And you come down, you got a 360 degree swivel at the boot cut, and you have a hinge at the ankles and a bit of pivot back and forth. So that's gonna pretty much do it for the articulation. You're gonna be able to get a lot of moves out of here, lots of chops, lots of, uh, I'd imagine it's probably a whole lot easier to put him in the figure four leg lock than it would be in uh, as a basic or whatever. So get all kinds of stuff in there. And now looking at his accessory, he comes with his cloth robe. 
So looking at it off of him, it's very nicely done. It's got Ric Flair right there in the back. You can see it's got the silver on the arms, all the... I don't know what it does. Like, the heck is, I think they're like flowers or butterflies and stuff like that. I imagine that has something to do with being the nature boy. But I can't really tell. It's just a nice little intricate design. And the straps for this are attached to the thing. So it's not an extra band, which is nice. I always like it when they are attached to the figure. I don't have to worry about uh, little thin pieces of cloth that can get lost by telling a bad joke. So if we put this on the figure... It looks quite nice on him. It fits him really well. You don't even need it strapped. Um, you don't need to have it strapped. It'll obviously look a little bit more like his entrance attire. Let me fix the collar here. But it looks fantastic on its own. Um, I'd imagine if any of you guys have picked up any figures with the Winged Eagle title, throw that on him. It looks fantastic. Uh, I'll try and get some pictures of that, maybe post that on Instagram. But yeah, all in all, I really like this figure. Uh... What is it going for? $24.98. It's fairly new. It's still like a month or two old. So you should be able to um, GameStop the... It's not hard to find, I don't believe. Um, but I know it's going to be a little bit more difficult to find than Macho Man, Shawn Michaels, and Honky Tonk Man of this wave. Due to the fact that those figures are shelf-warming currently. Uh, they're fantastic figures. I don't understand really why. Oh, the reason they're shelf-warming is they ordered so many. So... They're all on clearance now. You can get them. I think you can get like Macho Man for like five bucks in some areas. I think I paid thirteen for mine, so more almost fifty percent off. I think that was fifty percent off because they had to add in tax. So you know, I would if you find this, I definitely recommend getting it. Um, and then be sure to also look out for the Iron Sheik, which is the upcoming figure, and a uh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. But yeah, he's still pretty fairly easy to find. Uh, he's a GameStop exclusive, like I mentioned before, about twenty five bucks. Um, so that's pretty much all I got to say. I really like the attire. I really like the robe. Good figure. Uh, good representation. Probably my favorite Flair figure. I don't have... I think the only really the only one other one that I have is the Defining Moments um, from his WrestleMania match with Shawn Michaels with the, the blue robe. That was like from 2016-ish. I, but I got to say, all the figures I've seen, I think this one might be up there with that old black robe Defining Moments. It's a really, really good figure. I'd highly recommend picking it up. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you thought it was good, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for future videos. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.